Hey kids, why do you think we have Christmas lights? Think about what light is good for. One of the greatest things about light is that it helps us to see. Have you ever thought about the tiniest of lights that can dispel any darkness? But darkness can never extinguish the tiniest of lights. Light is powerful. It exposes what may otherwise be hidden. Hey kids, go find your Bibles and I have a couple Bible verses I want you to check out. They'll be on the next screen and all of the Bible verses have to do with light. Hey kids, the Bible calls Jesus the light of the world. When Jesus came into the world at Christmas, he came to expose sin. And he came to expose the truth. God does not just wish for us to walk around stumbling through the darkness, but rather he gave us the light. He gave us Jesus to follow. We're going to do a simple object lesson that's going to remind us that it is the light that we experience all the wonder of God. It's in the light that we experience all the wonder of God. One of the most amazing wonders of light is that it reveals color. Can you imagine a world without color? God places tiny little cones in our eyes that interact with the presence of light to cause us to see the colors of the rainbow all around us. Take a look at these colors of Christmas to help remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. The first color is red. This is actually Bonhoeffer's stocking. And red reminds us of God's love and how much he loves us as he sent Jesus to shed his blood to cover our sins. Red reminds us of God's love to cover our sins. This is my stocking. As you can see, it's white. And white reminds us of the purity and holiness of Christ. If we trust in him, our sin will be washed as white as snow. White reminds us of the purity and holiness of Christ. This blue Christmas star reminds us that he has given us his Holy Spirit to live in and through us. He is always with us. Blue reminds us of how God has given us his Holy Spirit to live in us.
The green Christmas tree reminds us that we're growing in Christ. Our day of salvation is just the beginning of a wonderful life process of becoming more like him. The green Christmas tree reminds us we are growing in Christ. And the gold star reminds us of heaven's streets of gold and the hope that Christ brings to us. He is the one that shows us the way to heaven because he is the only way. We must follow him. This gold star reminds us of the streets of gold in heaven and the hope that Christ brings to us. Okay, come on, I should be used to this by now. Stop. All right. Okay, what am I looking for here? I got these switch thingies and these funny looking doodads. Uh, you know, I'm just going to call an electrician. Uh, hey there. I'm Jacob, and as much as I love my light display, I have to admit it's been quite the headache this year. This is the third time I've had to call out an electrician because, I don't know, I guess there's such a thing as too many lights. Anyway, they have to send out a new guy every single time and I have to explain the same thing over and over again. It's, it's really frustrating. Let's just say it's given me some serious opportunities for joy. Joy is finding a way to be happy even when things don't go your way, but Things haven't been going my way so much this year, I'm wondering if the holidays are even worth it. The electricians, the caterers, the overworked clerks at the mall. Next year, it might be easier to just leave all the decorations packed up, skip the presents and the parties and all the stuff that goes with it, just have a relaxing season at home all to myself. But then in today's story, on the very first Christmas, We'll learn about some guys who just couldn't keep the good news to themselves. Hello, Voltmaster Electricians? Uh, it's me, Jacob. Yes. Again. Movie presents A Star is Born, based on the true story of the angels' good news for the shepherds and all the people. Action! Da 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 da! It's time for Bible sizing with Horvath! That's my faces! Da 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 da! 100 million times a million! Ah, yeah! Oh! <laughs> Hello, my name is Horvath! Hello and welcome to my show, where I combine the mental trainings of learning the Bibles with the physical trainings of making your muscles bigger! I call the show Bible Scissors with Horvath. Today we're going uh, to go... Uh, Bible sizing. What? Bible sizing? Bible sizing? Sizing? Sizing! Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. It's very difficult to say sometimes because it has so many syllabuses in it. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay, so the person who is guesting on my show today is an expert on the birth of Jesus. Yeah, and he smells like many animals and is a puny, puny man. Welcome to the show. 
this guy. <laughs> hello, 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 yes. guest person yes. who smells of animals and has <laughs> arms like pretzel sticks. Right. Welcome to Slice and Dicing with Orva. Bible sizing. Bible. Sizing, sizing. Sizing. Sizing, yes, it's so simple and it's not at the same times. You know, you. Uh, uh, we. All right, all right, let's do this. Okay, so, weak smelly guy, tell us why you are here so that I might remember why you are here. Um, okay, well, Horvath, my name is, is Sam yeah. Isaacson, and, and you're very right in saying that I smell like an animal. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your stench is so powerful that it felt like I had swallowed a cat and it's sitting on the back of my throat down by the little punching bagging thing. <gasps> All right. Well, yeah, I'm I'm sorry about that. It's an occupational hazard. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's part of my job. Is. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. So, so what is your job, uh, guest persons? Sam. Sam's. Yeah. Well, I'm a sheep herder. Why do you do that? Why do you hurt the sheep? Oh no. They uh, have done nothing to you. They just walk around in the yards and they eat little blades of the grasses. Like that, and, and they make fibers for me to wear. You know, I, 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 <laughs> I herd sheep, you know, I keep them together and try to, I, look, I protect them. I keep sheep safe. With those tiny little arms. Ah, you're such a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> look at my mouth. <laughs> I'm doing a workout for my mandible. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought I was here to talk about the night the angel spoke to me about the birth of Jesus. Okay, right. right, okay, let's do this, okay. So Sam the Shepherd, uh, all right, tell us your amazing story that will have our minds blown up. All right, now, well, now one night I was out tending the sheep with yeah. a few other shepherds, yeah. right? And, and when suddenly, in the night sky, an angel appeared. An angel? Angel. Angel? An angel. Angel? An angel appeared, and, and, and he was appearing to me. It, it was it was terrifying. All right, all right, right. stop right there. Okay, so, so so would you say you guys were so afraid that you would cower to the ground like little babies like this? Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, okay, so this is our very first exercises. Okay, on the count of three, I want you to do the angle squats like this. Uh, oh. Okay, okay, yeah, here we go. Right. Okay, okay, we'll do a million. Ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, five, clam, shower, soup, one million. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah. yeah, all right. Now that we know that you are afraid of angles, what happens next? Um, okay, well, the angel spoke. And he said to me, he said, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Joy? Yeah, yeah, very much so. Okay, okay, I think that brings me to my next exercise, okay? Yeah. Because of the great news the angles brings, we will do some jumping jacks, yeah? Yeah. Let me show you what a jumping jack looks like, okay? Right. You do a jumping jack like this, ready? Okay. Stand back, sir. All right. Yeah, okay, so let's do more than a million this time. Let's do three. Okay, ready? Go. Cow. People. Istanbul. All right. Nice. I can feel the joy, joy, joy down in my calves. Where? Down in my calves. Where? Down in my calves. My little baby cows. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me flex them. Okay, yeah, that's great. Can I, uh, can I continue my story now? Ah, uh, yes, continue your story, Smelly Sam. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. All right, the angel gave us some incredible news. The, the reason that we can have joy. The angel said, today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you and he is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You'll find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. The savior came to earth as a baby? Yes, showed up as a babies. Yeah, okay, that makes me want to do some more jumping jacks. Okay, okay. come on, come on. But I won't. I just, no, no? I just want to, but I'm not going to. 
All right, well, next up, the, the sky filled with angels, all right? And they were praising God, and they were saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. All right, all right, okay, wow, so like, there were so many angels flying around in the skies and praising God. I bet there were a lot of wings flapping like this, Well, yeah. no, I wouldn't say they had wings. Well, I'm going to do this, and that's our next exercises. Are you ready? Everyone do the angle wing flappings. We will do more than three this time. We will do four and a half. Ready? Okay, here we go. Ready? One! <laughs> three! Carbon dioxide! Trampoline! Ah! Yes! <laughs> That's a very good angle being flapping. I saw you Again, I, I, the I don't know that I would say they had wings. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. So, so what happens next? This story is getting very exciting. Okay, there, well, it's really Ah, okay. After that, uh, well, we had to go to Bethlehem, the town of David that the angels had mentioned. Right, yeah. we, we wanted to see this savior for ourselves. Yeah. So, I mean, we took off. Oh, flying? Well, no, running. We, Ooh, yeah, we, we running. That's even better. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's all do the shepherd marathon. Yeah, yeah. Let's run in place, <laughs> like we are going somewhere, but we're not going places. Right. We're just running in places. So there's places. Okay, everyone on the count of three. Three! Okay. <laughs> Keep running. All right, I'm... Keep running. A savior has been born. And you have to see him with your own eyeballs. <laughs> go, go. Okay. Okay, okay you can stop. <sighs> That's very impressive. Yeah, checking my pulse. Yeah. Uh, it, like, it's made of cotton, my pulse. Okay, so Horvath has one question. Oh, yeah, well, that was plural. Yeah. Why would God send his angel to talk to a lowly, smelly sheepherd like you and not to a person like me who is strong and big and powerful and strong like me? Well, that's, that's a great question, uh, Horvath. I think the answer lies in what the angel said to me, you know? I mean, the news the angel brought was, was going to bring joy for all the people. Right? Everyone. It, it doesn't matter if you're a simple shepherd like me or, or a powerful king. I mean, the Savior came for everyone. Even me? Well, yeah, even you, Horvath. But that news makes me very excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just want to. I just want to. I want to tell a story again. All right, let's, let's, let's do okay, it. Okay, here we go, everybody okay. who's out there watching me right now with your eyeballs. I want you to stand up. Come on, come on, stand up! Yes, stand up right now. Okay, now let's tell a story together using all the exercises. Yeah! Okay. Okay, okay, so here we go, okay? The angle appears and you are afraid. But no need, because joy is for everyone. A savior has been born in Bethlehem, and all the angles praise God. And we need to go run! Tell everyone about it! Yeah, yeah! Oh. Oh. oh, that was... Yeah, that was very good. Wow. That was a good workout. And great news. Thank you, Smelly Sam, yeah. for coming here. Thank you so much for having me, Horvath. Yeah. Thank you. Well, that is all the time we have for my brain, because it will stop functioning today before it takes a nap, so that we can... Should I wake him up? Join us next week on this channel that you are watching right now for another episode of Bubble Fusing. Bible sizing. Okay, flex with me while the credits roll. Got yeah, right. flex like this. You know you're doing it right when you shake. Like this, like a chihuahua. I can't see. I see spots. Wait, are you okay? <laughs> Just like you are waiting for Christmas, God's people had been waiting for a savior. Except they'd been waiting for hundreds of years. So when the shepherds got the good news that the savior had come at last, there was no way they were going to keep that news to themselves. The savior is here. And he's not just for the rich or for religious leaders or for really smart people. He's here to rescue all the people. The awesome thing is that includes us, you and me. 
God sent his very own son so that we can choose to be a part of his story. It's the most incredible Christmas gift ever. The story is for everyone, and that's the good news we can't keep to ourselves. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. I can't keep the holidays to myself. The reason I put on my light show every year is so that I can share the light of Jesus with everyone who passes by. And every time a, a caterer or a clerk or a neighbor asks me, why do you do it? Why do you put yourself through it every year? That's my chance to tell them. Because God sent his son for me and you, and I want everyone to know it. It's a story so good, you just have to share it. Here's the one thing to remember this week. I can have joy because God's story is for everyone. Sharing God's story is one of the most amazing things you can do. You don't even have to have a huge, hopefully award-winning light show to do it. I hope the electrician asks me why I put up so many lights when he gets here because Boy, do I have a story for him. I'll see you next time.
Hey kids, let's pray. But before we do, I want you to go grab a light. Either grab a lamp and touch it, go stand under a light in your house, or go grab a Christmas light off your tree and just hold it as we pray. Let's pray. God, we thank you for Jesus coming into the world that we can see and know him. God, we thank you that Jesus is with us and we can follow him as he shines light for us to see. God, help us to be lights for him in the dark world as we share the light of Jesus. Amen.